guys, this is Geese Carnage, and today I'm showing you how to hook up your MacBook or Mac up to your TV or monitor. You're going to need a few things. First, you're either going to need a mini display port to VGA. The VGA only uses video and no audio, so you're going to need external speakers. Or you can use the mini display port to HDMI or the older Macs. You're going to need mini DVI to VGA. Check your Max manual to figure that out. You're also going to need a VGA to VGA cable. And a keyboard. This is the Apple Wireless Bluetooth keyboard. You can use any keyboard. And you're also going to need a mouse. Because if your MacBook is closed, you know, can't use the trackpad or the keyboard. All right. First and foremost, your Mac book needs to be plugged in, or else it won't work. Powered on. All right. Next up, we're gonna put the VGA into the VGA adapter for the Mac book. Here we go. Screw them. Then you're gonna go over to the TV. And you plug the other end of the VGA into the TV, the blue port. There we go. And you're turning the TV on. To its VGA settings. Remember, your TV must have the VGA port. All right. I'm just gonna bring the MacBook over for a second. There we go. It still needs to be plugged in. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the other end of the main display port, and you're gonna plug it in. the mini display port. There you go, plugged in. Now your TV should auto recognize it. Now it's not at the full high resolution setting, so what you can do is just close your MacBook. It will go to sleep, the TV will turn off. That's where the keyboard and the mouse come in. You get to wake it up somehow, right? So just move around the mouse and the TV will come on. Come on. On the highest resolution the TV can produce. Which mine is and mine produces 920 by 1080, so it's 1080p HD. It's beautiful, it's big, lots of real estate. And I change the settings here. I'm gonna go to system preferences, displays. You can choose different settings here, like 1024, but you're gonna want the highest resolution possible. Just what looks better. And you can also, if you want dual displays or just have this as a second screen, you can just open up your MacBook. It will turn on. You can control both screens as a mirror image. Or you can... change it by let's say having unclicking mirror you have two two displays arrangement you can have the bigger screen on top and you can even change it 
what happens is the taskbar on the bottom. So this can just be an external display watch. There you go. Move it right back down. Right there. Close it again. Auto adjust. So guys, there you have it. This was how to hook your MacBook up to your TV so you can have more real estate. So guys, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Look forward to more videos. Check out my Twitter. Link in the description. Thanks, guys.